Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off by using my Kat Von D foundation as a base. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. And I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush just to buff this out and use this shade as a transition color. It's safe to say that I'm only going to be using this palette for this makeup look. So if you guys have this palette, you can go ahead and follow along step by step. So the second shade I'm going to be going in with is called Pooter and it's this one right here and I'm going to be using a smaller fluffy brush to apply this. I'm only grabbing a small amount of product because I want to build up the intensity little by little. So I'm going to be applying this onto my V area and on my crease. After applying that shade I'm going back in with my big fluffy brush that I previously used without any product and I'm just going to use it to blend that out and blend those two shades together. Next I'm going in with the shade Buns and this is a darker shade of brown. I'm using a pencil brush for this which is going to help me go deeper into my crease. And again I'm going to slowly build up the intensity of this shade. I don't want to go too dark and then not be able to fix this later. So I'm starting off light and I'm going to be applying this on my crease and on my V area. After applying this I'm going back in with my previous brush and I'm going to blend this out without any product just to match those shades together. The next shade I'm going to be using is called Mocha and this is the darkest shade I'm going to be using for this look. And I'm using a smaller pencil brush so that I can go deeper into my crease. I'm packing the shade onto my outer V area and I'm going to slowly drag this across to the other side of my eye. Only on my crease straight into my inner eye area. After applying a couple of coats of that shade onto my lid I'm using the previous fluffy brush so that I can blend the shades together. I'm not using any product to blend these shades together, I'm just doing this to create a smokier effect. Next I'm going in with the Kat Von D foundation and I'm using this as a concealer to cut my crease. The reason why I like to use this is because it has a very thick consistency and it helps me cut my crease a lot better and it works just like concealer. Using my flat concealer brush, I'm going to be starting off at the inner area of my eye and I'm going to tap my way towards the center. I'm going to be focusing more into my inner area so as we go towards the center, start applying less and less of that foundation or concealer, whichever it is you're using. I will show you guys in just a bit why it's important to go lighter as we get towards the center of our eye. Now I'm going back in with the shade Silk Cream and I'm going to be using a flat brush to apply this shade. I'm only going to be applying this shade onto the inner area of my eye because we're going to be using another shade on the center. Next I'm going in with the shade Buns again and I'm using a different flat brush to apply this on that center area where I told you guys to go lighter on the concealer and this is why it's important. We want the transition to go from light to medium to dark as we go into the outer V area. So I'm packing the shade on there and I'm trying to take as many product as I can off of the brush and once that is done I'm gonna start blending these two shades together so it doesn't look like I have any harsh lines. Take your time blending these shades out together because the longer you blend the better results you're gonna get. Now I'm going back in with the shade Mocha and I'm going in with the same pencil brush that I used before to apply this shade. And I'm going to be applying this on the outer V area so that I can connect those two shades together. Once you're applying this shade, the look starts to come together and look better. Like I said, the transition looks good from light to medium to dark. Next, I'm going in with the Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm going to be using this to clean out my eyeshadow so it looks a lot sharper. And first, I'm going to be applying this on my under eye area. And then starting off at my outer corner of my lash line, I'm dragging this upwards so it can give me that sharp edge. And I'm slowly going to be dragging this downwards and dabbing this away with my sponge from InStylish. Now I'm using my favorite eyeliner from Italia Deluxe. And I'm going to be applying this on my top lash line. And this is going to help my liquid liner look a lot darker. So now I'm going in with the Italia Deluxe liquid liner and I'm going to be applying this over the pencil eyeliner. Meanwhile I finish up with my wing eyeliner. I'm going to talk to you guys about this look. 
I did create a reindeer makeup look with this eyeshadow too. So I'm going to have a video at the end attached to this one so that you guys can go ahead and click on it and watch that reindeer look that I created for Christmas. Now I'm going in with my Better Than Sex Mascara, which is my favorite from Too Faced. I'm only going to be applying a couple of coats because I'm going in with some false lashes. Now these lashes are from Minked Luxury Lashes and these this style is not out yet, but there are details so you can go follow their page on Instagram down below. And I'm using my duo glue to apply these. I have used this more than once before, so you guys can tell that they have been used. So because they're used, I'm going in with my eyeliner again and just to cover that up quickly. Next, I'm using the white shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. And I'm going to be applying this as a eyeliner on my lower lash line. The reason why I use this is because I don't have a white eyeliner, but I like to improvise. So I'm going to carefully apply this on my waterline and pulling my skin down with a sponge so that I don't mess up my foundation. I don't want this to get into my eyes, so I'm applying this tighter onto my lash line than inside the waterline. So be careful if you guys are doing this. I don't want you guys to poke your eye and it's going to burn. <laughs> so next I'm going in with the shade Buns. And I'm going to be using a flat brush to apply this on my lower lash line right under the white. And I'm going to lightly start blending this side to side to create a smoky effect on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that shade out. Now I'm getting the shade Mocha with a small pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this over that brown shade. Next I'm going back in with my Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to be applying a little bit of it on my lower lashes. This step is very important no matter how short your eyelashes are because it makes your eyes pop a little bit more. Next I'm going to be using the Hyper Real Glow Palette from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using this light shade right here. I'm using the Urban Decay Setting Spray to wet my brush. And I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of my eye. So yeah guys, this is the end of this tutorial. If you're interested in seeing the second part of this, it is the previous video that I posted. So here it is on the top. Go ahead and click that next. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.